guys, it is your girl Lexi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're not, what is up guys? I am here with my mom and I am here with my service dog, Katie. Hey guys, it's your girl Lexi. I am 16 years old with a syndrome called Danny Walker Syndrome. I wanted to start this YouTube channel to show the world being different is incredible. Stay savage, don't be average. We're gonna talk about her former service dog, Katie. So Katie is actually no longer Lexi's service dog. We had her for about a year, um, and it didn't quite work out with her. Lexi has um, Dandy Walkers. She was born with part of her brain missing. Yes. So she has what kind of issues? You have balance issues. Yeah, balance issues. She trips over things. Um, she has epilepsy. So we just wanted a dog that maybe could alert us when she was having a seizure, who can help stabilize her when we're out at places. Hey guys, it's Lexi. I'm super nervous, but I'll get my dog and I'll update you later. Bye. We got Katie um, up. We are in Southern California. We got her up in... Um, Central California from a service assistance center. It's in Visalia. And we were on a list for, I don't know, maybe a year or something. So normally when you go um, get a service dog, there's a process. You go and meet them. They have a line of dogs um, and the dog basically has to pick you. So we tried out how many service dogs? Like five? What were their names? Levi did not like me, Bailey did not like me, Diamond did not like me, Katie loved me. Where are you going? Katie. We're gonna put that in with the and jump, jump. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Yay. She loved Lexia instantaneously. They had this bond together. When um, you go there, you're supposed to train there for two weeks with the dog to make sure, you know, everything goes well. Well, Lexi, this little master manipulator right here, um, did so great that they actually have never done this before, but they let her take the dog home. Um, so we took Katie home and things were okay. Um, Katie definitely was very nervous when we would go out, but we thought, okay, she's just kind of adjusting to us and to our family and everything. When we would go places, she just would freak out. She did not like being anywhere with us. Uh-huh, huh. like anywhere. Yeah, she loved going to the dog park though and playing mm -hmm. and stuff, but she just did not want to be a service dog. I don't think that Lexi was the right fit for her. Um, I, I couldn't stand to watch her just having anxiety and that nervousness. And from somebody who suffers from anxiety, I, it broke my heart. Bring it. Katie's like amazing. Like I wanted to like take her to school with me, but it wasn't in my IEP. So she would stay with me. Yes, and it was heartbreaking for me because I really wanted to take her to school with me, but I knew I would let everyone pet her because I'm so nice, but I know no one's allowed to pet her. And Lexi, did you let everybody pet your dog? Yes. And did you always take off her vest? Yes. Yeah. So I think Lexi really wanted more of a pet dog than a service dog, and that was not what I had in mind. I really wanted um, someone to, I mean, I just wanted something to help her with these things that I just couldn't. It was amazing having Katie, but I don't think I was mature enough to have a dog yet. Definitely, definitely not, no. So now my um, brother and his girlfriend have her. Uh, I just, for me, we had her for about a year and she, she's the best, mm. sweetest dog ever. Mm. She is probably the most gentle, kindest animal ever. All she wants to do is get pet um, and just love you. 
I believe you learn something from things that you fail at. Like, I learned that maybe Lexi wasn't mature enough to have a dog. Maybe when I'm like 20 or like 25 or 30, I'll be mature. I don't think that you would be able to take care of one like you should. I, um, I definitely think you have a lot of growing up to do and I think you wanted more of a pet and for social aspects of it. I mean, Lexi loves being around people and loves talking to everybody. So having the dog helped her with that it definitely made her come out of her shell a little bit more. And um, it gave her something to have in common with other people. Yes, we hope you like this video. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you know what to do. Stay savage, don't be average, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Peace.